Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it, Taurus. Thank you, God, for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Taurus, keep in mind that I am live here on the channel every Tuesday and Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so you got spiritual growth popping out of the deck for you, uh, Taurus. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck, open relationship. All right, so some of you need to mature from these open relationships and, and or, or keeping your options open, or you need to mature from dealing with people who keep options open, okay? Spiritual growth is all about maturity. It's about adversity, uh, controversy, controversy. Um, it's about something that's contrary to what it is you say you really want, and it's going to prompt you to mature or grow spiritually. Uh, be prompted towards something that is greater, larger than you, larger than life, um, that you can kind of root yourself in. Therefore, you're grounded and you find growth and you thrive in it um, more than thriving in uh, the carnal, in uh, the world, in worldly things, in other people. So you need to be rooted to spiritual, to the spiritual. And, and the beauty of it is you get to choose what that spirituality is for yourself. Um, but you need to be rooted in something so much greater larger than you here and some relationship is pushing you towards spiritually um growing okay um because this relationship could have been toxic it could have been third party it could have been it drove you crazy or it's driving you crazy or it always has you thinking it always has you on edge you're emotionally unstable all of the above here or vice versa this is what you're doing to someone else uh tours uh, there's also somebody here who keeps a lot of options here in love relationships so they don't have to feel for either any one of them, not feel anything real for either one of those options here. And that is also a part of needing to mature and spiritually grow also. Um, keeping so many options, therefore, they don't feel any real tie, connection to either one. Um, there's also a division of time of yourself, of your... um. Okay. All right. Spirit. All right. A, a division of your sexuality, uh, of your, your sexual tool, you know, whether you're a man or a woman, you're, you're dividing it up amongst so many different people. Therefore it, it, it's devalued even in your sight, even in how you feel about your own body and your sexuality, you give it away so easily, so frequently that it, it means nothing anymore. It is not sacred. This could be you, Taurus. It could be another person you're dealing with. Don't shoot me. All right. Um, let's keep going. Let's see what the advice is here. You could have been dealing with somebody who did that too. They just was getting around. Okay. Um, what's the advice for Taurus? What's the advice? Okay. Uh, listen to your intuition. Yep. Whatever your intuition right now is saying to you right now in this reading, it is true. Type it down in the comment section. If it's not too explicit, whatever your intuition just told you, type it in the comment section. All right. Uh, manifest and also let other Taurus individuals um, like yourself know that you are not alone in this. A lot of times when you find people write their, you know, maybe a little small synopsis of what they're going through in their life. Um, it's the same thing that you've gone through or you're going through. Can you imagine there's another Taurus on the other side of the world going through the same thing you're going through? So let's manifest better corporately. If you want out of situations like this, you want to mature and spiritually grow. Let's put some healing hands down in the comment section. Those praying hands down in the comment section so that we can uh, spiritually grow. My North Node is in Taurus, so I'm going to be with you guys. Let's spiritually grow from these open relationships, from keeping relationships open, from dealing with people who keep relationships open, who, dealing with people who cause emotionally in, instability, who cause emotional instability or instability um, in you and in relationships here, okay? And listen to your intuition, Taurus, because it is speaking to you, okay? If you believe at the bottom of the deck, if you believe that somebody is keeping options open, that there is someone else, listen to your intuition because it is not lying to you. Listen to that gut 
that gut feeling, your sacral chakra. It is trying to speak to you, okay? Um, you're trying to ignore it. You're trying to push it down, push it away. But listen, okay? Also, some of you need to heal the sacral chakra. That is where your uh, sexual organs lie also. Some of you, you, you okay, you got to slow down from using those organs too. Just slow down. Just give it a rest. Put it on the shelf. Put it up. All right. And we'll take it down next year sometime. All right. Um, if that's you, if it's not you, again, don't leave what's not for you. Take what's for you, right? Let's see what the outcome for you this week is, Taurus. What is the outcome for Taurus? The Nine of Swords. All right. So um, the Moon card, yeah, kind of lying to yourself about something. At the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Wands. Again, listen to your intuition. It's speaking to you, okay? The moon is about intuition. It's about vivid dreams also. It's about uh, premonition. You know that something. You Look, you can't even get away from this with the nine of swords, okay? You know that you know that you know. You're trying to get over something. You're going over what this person said, what they did, what they didn't do, what they did say. You know, it's just not adding up. It's not making sense. Uh, Judge Judy, I know some of y'all don't like her, but um, she said if it sounds like a lie, it's probably a lie. If you live your life by that one saying, that'll eradicate a lot of emotional turmoil for you. If it sounds like a lie, it's probably a lie. Just just that simple uh, little saying, okay? Because it seems as if, again, something about lies, secrets. Maybe even you lying to yourself with the moon card here. Um, something about nighttime too, night. Uh, nine of swords in the moon something at night something that somebody does at night maybe creeping leaving um you're driving somebody absolutely mad crazy here okay there could be a third party there's somebody that you're desiring that you go after at night or you go out you say you're going to the gym you've been at the gym for five hours i don't know what you're doing but something is happening here you could be dealing with a virgo you yeah virgo here you could be dealing with a virgo uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Pisces, and Scorpio. No, it can be all three. Definitely Cancer and Pisces highlighted here. Um, the Queen of Wands. This is sometimes the temptress. There's somebody else here in this relationship here. And somebody knows it. Some of you, um, you need to mature. You've been tempted away, okay? Um, you also need to be honest with. You're not being honest with yourself. You're not being honest with the person, the person that you're obligated to. Um, maybe being in this committed relationship is now uncomfortable for you. You have grown, you know, to larger than this relationship. Maybe at one point in your life, it was comfortable to be in this relationship. And now it is not because sometimes the moon call talks about, you know, uh, situations that make us uncomfortable, but we're keeping it a wrap so that we're not being honest with ourselves about how we feel or emotions. This is what I have for you, Taurus. Also, you're not being honest about, um, yeah, okay, about your emotions here in terms of another person. Yeah, your personal philosophy could be changing about a relationship altogether. Maybe about somebody wants to be single. Um, somebody wants to be single sometimes and they want to be in a relationship sometimes because that's like duality too. This is what I have for you, Taurus. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Again, put those praying hands down there in the comment section because we will spiritually grow this year coming up in 2022. We are not just coming to tarot card readings to get the tea. We are going to be better individuals. If you want to manifest corporately with other Taurus, if you want to have better in your life, if you want betterment for yourself, let's manifest corporately. We're going to have better. Put those uh, praying hands down in the comment section, the hearts down in the comment section, because we're going to heal, okay? Uh, whether you like it or not, if you're not here for that, we get it. Move on. Um, also, um, get your own personal reading by going over to the website, book there. You can ask a question by texting it to the number below. If you want to learn the Tarot, you could do that with me. The Tarot classes are linked 
below. And also, if you're feeling moved to do so, you could purchase something from my Amazon wish list if you want to purchase something for the channel. And also, if you just want to buy me a coffee, you took something from the reading, you could give back. You could click buy Ella coffee. Buy me a coffee if you feel the move to. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.